All right, all right, it's Go Team Smith cooking with what you have in your kitchen. You know what I'm making today. If you don't know, let's zoom in on it. Some Zatarain's jambalaya, and we're gonna make it straight from the box and see how it comes out. So, you know, a lot of people say, I make mine's original, I do all this and all that. I said, well, I wanna see what at least it tastes like, so I'm gonna make it on my own. Now look at it, I got some Scott Peterson beef hot polishes, some nice ass shrimp there, 40 to 60 count. And some real small shrimp, so they go in between. I might even want to add a little cilantro to that rice. And uh, I got some sausage already in the skillet over here going. Let me show that to you real quick. And I'm gonna cut those up into small pieces and put them inside of the jambalaya. Now, they said three and three quarters cup of water. I read the back, and this suggests, you know, what you want to put in it. It'll say stuff like, uh, well, you can put in uh, smoked sausage, ham, cooked chicken, or shrimp. And I think I'll put the uh, smoked sausage and the shrimp in there, two different sized shrimp, and the hot sausage, and a little cilantro to bring it to life. I love cilantro, that's why I'm using it. And this is straight from the box, and we're gonna see how it goes. And it's a three and three quarter cup of water. I got that boiling right now. I'm getting it up to a boil, because when it does, I'll put the pouch inside and stir it in, like they say. And they say, uh, you can add two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. Uh, this, you know, optional in three quarter, three quart saucepan until well blended. Bring to boil. Reduce heat. Chilo. Cover. Simmer for 25 minutes or until rice is tender. Then remove it from the heat and let it stand five minutes. That sounds like a winner. That don't sound like something too hard for everybody at home. How y'all feel about that? But well, we're gonna make this today. If you already know how to make it, God bless you. If you don't know how to make it, this is what we're doing. So, I'll be back with some steel picks of my steps of what I put in step by step and with the sausage and the shrimp and incorporate them together and come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. This is how you make Zatarain's Jambalaya Rice Dinner Mix. And we'll be back. Peace. And we are back. As you can see, it has come to a boil. The jambalaya has come to a boil, and you all know what time it is. Cooking with what you have in your kitchen. Go Team Smith. We got that coming to a boil. We're going to put that down to a simmer in a minute. I just want to get it to boil just a little bit more, and then, then break it down to a simmer. Uh, as you can see, I found my cilantro. I still have some nice cilantro in the refrigerator. Back to my very small shrimp to my big shrimp, to my hot sausage. And I got some cooking over here, just like you all seen before. Bam, there you go. Don't ever grab a lid like that. That was pretty hot, but I put it right back down. Y'all see how fast I did that? That's what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is bring this down to a, a simmer, and then I'll slowly cook it and incorporate it, let it get all the seasonings and stuff together. And uh, after that, when it's almost done, I'm gonna start adding the shrimp, and the sausage and the cilantro and then you let it sit and all the rest of the moisture all the rest of the water like comes out and the rice sucks it all up whatever it don't suck up it'll steam off and uh it's nice and flaky and tasty the way you like it so we will be back with some steel picks of what happens next cooking with what you have in your kitchen and we are featuring jambalaya by Zatarain's today and you can pick that up a little bit everywhere but uh, I would say Walmart I would say Jules and I would even say save a lot but it have a different name on it like uh, jambalaya mix but as we say Zatarain's so I'm gonna go with the Zatarain's I'll try one from uh, save a lot the next go around see you in a minute peace All right, we are back once again. Now this has been going for a little while. We got like 10 to 12 minutes left on this. It's simmering now. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's gonna let you stir it in a That's gonna really, it's gonna add to that, that rice and get the that be flaky. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add some sausage. I'm gonna add some hot sausage to that. And what's next? Put my little bite-sized shrimp, my little bite-sized shrimp all over. 
so you get one and every little bite. <laughs> then we're gonna add the bigger shrimp, its cousin. And it's got the tail still on, so you know, makes it look so much better. All right, I'm gonna save a few of those. Now, you see how that's packed all in there? I'm gonna incorporate that together. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit, a little bit of cilantro on that and let that cook in. And then I'm gonna put some fresh cilantro on top when it's done. So I'm gonna stir that all up together and I'm gonna let it finish simmering. And then I'll take some steel picks and show you how it looks. And I know it's gonna be delicious. For one, it's Zatarin's. And for two, Go Team Smith is cooking it <laughs> with what you have in your kitchen. Be back in a minute. And we are back once again. This is the final step. Oh, and I forgot to let you all know something. Just in case, we decide to pour some nice frozen shrimp, frozen sausage in there without cooking them first or thawing them out. You could also just add like a quarter more cup of water so it can steam and it can, you know, it can, it can definitely cook a little longer, but add just a little bit old bay seasoning with your cilantro and that'll kick it back up a notch if you kind of water it down with your uh, seafood being frozen or you put it in too soon and you got a little extra water you can put a little old bay season like a tablespoon on that and that'll kick it back up a notch so everything will be handy dandy you know what i'm saying everything is everything in your kitchen look how this is now this is what yeah that's what I like. Big, nice, beautiful shrimp. See, see a little moisture down there? That's gonna cook out. I'm gonna keep it simmering. And the rice is nice and flaky. But I got everything incorporated. So the next thing you'll see is it on a plate. But I'm also gonna fry some catfish fillets today. And some straight catfish that I got from the grocery store. So, cooking with what you have in your kitchen is stepping it up, baby. I'm telling you, stepping it up. And this is what you call Jambalaya Zatarin style. That's what's happening. I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, you'll see some steel pics after it's over of the full dinner. And we are out of here. Thanks for watching.